enjoy what you do. Yeah. We do enjoy it here, too. And at this point in the show, it's a time that we take a break. We want our audience to know that they're listening to My Hometown on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Bill Horan. I'm here with Zach Durkell. And we'll continue to talk to Major Kilbride and Lance Wolf on their Toys for Todd event for Saturday, November 17th. We'll be back after this short break. I'm a college student and could use advice about my student loan. I had to leave school and go to work. Now I have to pay back student loans for a degree I don't have. Fortunately, I found assistance. Back in college, I figured they wouldn't lend me more than I could easily pay back. Boy, was I wrong. Thankfully, I got the help I needed to pay back my loan in full. Sound familiar? The good news is that student loan repayment options are available. We're the NFCC, the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, a nonprofit organization with member offices nationwide that provide comprehensive financial reviews and student loan counseling. NFCC certified consumer credit counselors provide one on one financial counseling and can help you evaluate options for making student loan payments, reducing interest, debt consolidation, or even loan rehabilitation. Call 877 406 6322 or visit us online at studentloanhelp.org. My Hometown is made possible by Anton Media Group. For more of your local community news, visit antonmediagroup.com. If you have a story to share or want to subscribe, call 516-747-8282. And now we return to My Hometown. Welcome back to My Hometown. I'm Bill Horan, along with Nassau Community student, Zach Turkell. We're here talking to Major Chuck Kilbride and Lance Wolf regarding the Toys for Tots program that's coming up. They're filling us in on all the good works that they're doing. And right now, I'd like to begin by asking you, uh, how many toys? Is there a goal of of a number of toys you wish to get for the holiday season? As many as possible. Okay. (laughs) No ceiling there. As many as possible. All right. Zach? All righty. Well, now that Toys for Tots is nationwide, if someone is listening because we have listeners all over the world because they listen online too, let's say they want to help right now. How, what do they do if they uh, want to be uh, donating online? What, what would you say to them? I would tell them to write a check to the U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Tots program. Send the check to 605 Stewart Avenue, Garden City, New York, 11530. And... Uh, Wherever you're located, buy a new unwrapped toy. There's you call any chamber of commerce, and they'll tell you where a drop-off location is. And uh, one of our first events that we will do outside of uh, the Coral House on October the 11th, between 11 and 2 in Baldwin, uh, there we'll have a big kickoff public relations event. But we always go to Simon Mall, Roosevelt Field Mall. And that's one of our first big events. And we get about 400 toys from Stewart Elementary School and Stratford Elementary School. And teachers there teach the children to give back. They do a really, really wonderful job. And uh, we start off right from there. We have Chris Macchio come out and sing the national anthem. And everybody stands. And it's a wonderful thing. Now, uh, gentlemen, how about someone, we've been talking about giving the gifts and bring them over to Miller's Ale House, but uh, suppose someone's kind of having a tough time this holiday season. You know, there's always somebody who just lost a job or uh, illness. Uh, how do they go about contacting Toys for Tots to get perhaps a, a toy for their child so they can still enjoy the holidays? Contact your local church. We we, we don't entertain individual uh, donations to a family, it's, it's too cumbersome and, and, and difficult to do. So we deal mostly with the, there's a pastor, John Gravanier from Belmore, you connect church. He helps us out and Bishop, uh, Bishop White and uh, Bishop Watson and Bishop Lyons and Reverend Mean Dean, <laughs> right? From Westbury and Hempstead. All these guys help us out, and, and Rabbi Ankel Pearl is just a wonderful, wonderful friend of the core. And we, we rely on them to identify who needs a toy, and, and they give us the word, and we go out, and whatever we can do, we will do. So how go to the House of Worship, Temple, Church, speak with the pastor, the leader there, and uh, they'll connect up with right. the right people. 
Excellent. Thank you. We do want to say that Rabbi Pearl also has a show here, so he does a lot of work here outside of 90.3 WHPC. And everybody loves him. And everybody loves him. Lovable Such people. a nice guy. Nobody he doesn't have any mean bone in his body. I have a question for Lance um, or, or Major Kilbride, uh, whatever, whichever one you want to answer. But let's say someone's listening right now and they want to own and they own a business like Miller's Ale House in Levittown and wants to become a drop off point. How did they go about doing that? Lance, how did you become a drop off point? Well, it was easy for us because uh, I met uh, this fine gentleman over here, Major Chuck Kilbride, United States Marine Corps. And uh, we um, we hit it off right from there. And I had said to him, Hey, how do how can we get involved with Do and Toys for Tots? I said I was giving the first two years I opened. Uh, I was working with the uh, local um, church, uh, St. Bernard's, and uh, Sister Christine and Father Ralph over there, and um, we were we were getting toys from for them and giving them to their children. And um, but I wanted to make it bigger, and I wanted to make it more fun. I wanted to really collect a lot more toys. So that's all. When I met the uh, the major, um, you know, I said, "Hey, listen, what can we do to really, you know, bring more smiles to more children and, and make more families happy?" And then we decided that Miller's Ale House and the United States Marine Corps would would work together with local motorcycle uh, clubs in the uh, in the area, law enforcement clubs, fire fire department clubs, and uh, so that's what we did. And seven years later. You know, we're still growing, getting bigger and bigger. And with the help of uh, Major Kilbry and my bosses uh, from Miller's Ale House, we were able to get all 90 somewhat locations involved now that every location has a box that you can drop off on unwa- you know, unwrapped toys, you know, throughout the, the, the Christmas, you know, Thanksgiving holidays. And these families that are in need will now be able to able to celebrate, whether it's Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, uh, whatever they may celebrate. Gentlemen, at this point in the show, once again, we want to remind our audience that you're listening to My Hometown on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Bill Horan, along with Nassau Community College student Zach Turkel. And our special guests today are Major Chuck Kilbride and Lance Wolf of Miller's Ale House. We're talking about the Toys for Tots program. And, gentlemen, let me ask you, um, if someone just – sometimes we all get busy around the holidays or single parents running around – if they don't have time to go shopping or they just have no clue about toys, what would be good, and uh, bad, whatever, um, cash donations, is that acceptable? And how should they do that? All, like like uh, the major said before, all cash donations would be made out to the United States Marine Corps Toys for Tots. Um, they can drop it off at any, any really, Miller's Allies location, or they could mail it to... Uh, 605 Stewart Avenue. 605 Stewart Avenue, Garden City, New York. U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Tots. Or you could call me... Major Chuck Kilbride, 516-902-0934. And uh, we, we spend an awful lot of money on special needs toys. Uh, I'll tell you some interesting stories. Last year, school teachers in Garden City asked us if we could go to three homes. We have an official Santa Claus here, Lance. And um, we, we get there, and uh, they wanted us to go to three homes where the mother had died in the previous 30 days. Very tough home visit. But we went to one home in Garden City and and the the guy was crying and the guy says, I can't believe this, what you've done for me. You've given me hope again. He says, my children, the first time my children, he had four children, were laughing. He said, one son had Down syndrome. He says, look, I'll write you guys a check. He goes, you don't have to give my children toys. Just being here, just like to know that we're not alone, that somebody does care. And that that really teaches you what what the believer Lance Wolf is, what he's all about. Because these people said to us that uh, we, we made a difference, and we really saw that we made a difference. And and he says, you'll never get the toy back from my son with the Down syndrome, but he goes, uh, but you've made our day. And, and that seemed to be symbolic of all three home visits that we made, that we really were making a difference doing something. And, you know, that's why I joined the Marine Corps. 27 years I've been in the Marines, and I'm father of four kids. I graduated at West Point, daughter, three sons. My dad retired. We're here at Nassau Community College. I was born right here on Hospital Road. I can't believe I'm still here. <laughs> and you're still here. Yeah. See, we all come back the circle. Right, exactly. But I'll tell you, that story really is poignant. And sometimes it's through stories. And when the priest and rabbi is preaching sermons and giving us instructions, when you hear the real life, putting a smile on those people's faces, knowing that somebody cares, 
what else do we hear for on earth? You know, uh, the holidays, we exchange things in an office, cookies, a bottle of wine, um, you know, some greetings. Uh, seemingly meaningless for that little kid to put the look on their face, to help that parent, to let them know when they had some tough times. And especially in a home where there's special needs, when they're doing so much more just for the simple things that we take for granted. Uh, we thank you so much. Zach? Yeah, I have a question. This one really stuck out to me. I know that Miller's Ale House in Levittown and Deer Park does a lot for the local community. What other charities have you worked for and any plans to work with next year in 2019, Lance? Um, well, we just actually did a, uh, a charity for a uh, young boy, um, Louis Mendez. He is a uh, Levittown uh, young man, five years old, with a very uh, uh, particular uh, brain cancer. Um, the life expectancy of most of these children that have this is, you know, difficult. Somewhat difficult. Under, yeah. Uh, but this say. young this young man, we just did a nice little uh, charity event for him. Uh, he's about a two junior weeks vice ago. chairman. Yes, too. junior vice chairman for Toys for Tots. Um, very very great, beautiful kid, great family. So we did a nice little charity run for him with the uh, Nassau County Corrections Officer and some local motorcycle clubs. Um, and we, we get involved in, in really, you know, uh, Special Olympics. Uh, we do the polar plunge every year with, uh, with the local ale houses get involved PBA. and dive into waters with them. We do stuff with the Nassau County Police Department, the PBA, um, you know, Levittown Fire Department, East Meadow Fire Department. So, you know, we'll, we'll get involved with as many different organizations and local schools and charities that we can get that will come towards us. And each individual Miller's Ale House, um, you know, Lake Grove does different things for cancer. Comac does other uh, other charities as well. Um, so we all sponsor things, and that's what our company is about. It's about giving back um, to the community at all times. The, I think what, what needs to be said about Miller Ale House is the CEO comes from Beth Page High School, and uh, his name is Ray. Ray Holden. Ray Holden. Very generous guy. Likes to give back to the community. I will say that all the folks that you see that work at a Miller Ale House, Levittown in the entire United States, they're like a family. Most Miller Ale Houses, but they have the best retention rate of any of the Miller Ale Houses. That as, says a lot. As, as, told me, as told to me by the CEO, Ray Holden. And, and I just wanted to get that in because he's, he's another guy that made it from Long Island that's running a huge corporation. Before we wrap up, gentlemen, once again, tell our audience if they're hearing all these good stories – how can they get involved? The date, the program, real quick. Once, uh, again, once again, um, our Toys with Tots kickoff is uh, Saturday, November seventeenth, two thousand eighteen. Starts off at the Deer Park uh, Miller's Ale House at uh, eighteen hundred The Arches at eight thirty. A sign up, uh, coffee, bagels, tea. Uh, for while you're signing up, bring uh, an unwrapped toy, or if you like to bring cash, you can do that. Um, kickoff uh, and bikes uh, kickstands up at eleven a.m. Police escort from the Deer Park location to the Levittown Miller's Ale House location on 3046 Hempstead Turnpike, Levittown, New York. Um, and the party begins uh, at 12 o'clock when you get there. The Levittown Fire Department will be out front with the uh, the United States flag leaning over the building. The United States Marine Corps will be there. And if anyone has any questions or needs any answers, they can also call me at Miller's Ale House in Levittown at 516-520-7000. And we, have, we want to thank you, uh, Lance Wolf and Major Chuck Kilbride. I'm sorry to cut you off. Our time is running out. But I think if anybody wants to have a real good time, meet some really good people and eat a lot of really good food, get over to Miller's Ale House. We want to thank our guest, Major Chuck Kilbride and Lance Wolf, for stopping by my hometown today. And I want you to know that uh, we'll be back next week. I'm your host, Bill Horan, along with Zach Turkel on 90.3 WHPC. We like to get your feedback on my hometown. Send your comments to whpc at ncc.edu. My Hometown is produced by Jim Green, executive producer. Nassau Community College, where success starts and continues. Till next time, this is Bill St. James. And remember, there's no town like your hometown.